what I was told was when you sleep, and this is a very you know layman way of putting it, but it's almost like an oil change for your cerebral spinal fluid, and basically it's like it's like a it's like a cleanse. I'm going on a on an all you know fluid diet cleanse, and that apparently true sleep and deep REM is the only circumstance that really helps that exchange of toxins and kind of maybe permeate out of the central nervous system. So ever since I learned that, I'm always like, am I really just making myself at an increased risk of a neuro tumor because, you know, I don't get into that deep REM kind of wash cycle. Is that at all accurate to any effect? No, you explained it perfectly because that's in only in the last five, 10 years, we've understood the importance of sleep and the in store, in importance of detoxification of the brain basically. So lying down and sleep uh, is helpful for clearing all the toxic metabolites that build up in your brain. Much like, you know, urine is for blood as uh, mm -hmm. if you don't, you know, you, the, the, that is clearing your blood basically of toxins and other things to keep homeostasis. Likewise, in That's the why brain. That's you require dialysis, right? Yeah. Like you, have, you have to get rid of the toxins, otherwise it messes up everything up. Exactly. And in the brain, there is constant dialysis going on, actually. Uh, the, the blood goes to the brain, CSF is made, and uh, amyloid uh, and all these bad players are cleared. Uh, and so sleep and maybe uh, reclining and a variety of the factors are important uh, for clearing these toxins in the brain that build up uh, uh, when we don't sleep a uh, adequately. My mom will be very happy, and she, I think she needed me to hear this, and I maybe shouldn't have asked because I'd always was in the back of my brain, pun kind of intended. So I think that is a really big stimulus, though, for me to sleep better. Because, I mean, let's be honest, when you, don't, when you don't have that, you know, oil change, it does lead to true, like, depression and worse headaches. And then, obviously, the central nervous system is, like, the mainframe computer major database to, like, for your perceptions of pain um, in your muscles and having these what we call myalgia, all of that stuff you know, is neuronal. And so if you're not cleansing that, then I can see how that would be legitimately problematic. And that's why I stress to sleep apnea patients too. They're like, well, I feel okay. And I'm like, if you sleep apnea, you need that deep room, whether you know you're sleeping or not, you know, it just so much more than like just how you feel. And, and, it, and the evidence is showing that from what it sounds like you're saying. Well, it's not, it's not just for your brain health. It's also for your whole oh, body. Other, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right.